to Blender Switch Live. Today I want to be creating something that's a little bit abstract and organic, inspired by this uh, documentary, Fantastic Fungi. Um, it's basically like a mushroom, a fungi. Uh, if you search for photos, lots of fungi, and it's uh, very interesting because it's really organic and it's just simply grow anywhere that's kind of um, moldy and uh, it creates this kind of interesting um, mycelium, uh, they call it, and it's part of the fungi. And I thought about the Maxteria in the, in, the, in the video game Fantasia as well. Um, it's something that I want to create in Blender. So yeah, let's just uh, get started. So something that's abstract and we're gonna start with something, right? So I'm just gonna use this tool, add cube, and this is gonna be where our fungi is gonna be growing. And this is because this is like an abstract little project. We don't need to worry about the final result. This is more kind of like a meditative. Um, get used to these tools. I think this tool is really powerful. And you can, you know, if you draw, draw something, you can also hold like something like options. So it can go like that. And you can actually draw at the bottom as well. And you are basically drawing cubes, just like a, just like a fungi, you know. It's just growing and you can use other tools like cylinder as well and you can draw the cylinder in any shape you can make like a, this kind of this type of cylinder if you want to be more conservative you can hold shift hold shift and then draw it like that so this is this could be like a some kind of plant But basically, this is pretty, still pretty um, industrial-like. It's not organic. But soon we're gonna try to turn this into something that's more organic. All right. So we have something like this, for example. So lots of objects being created. I just gonna select all, tap A, shift click if we need to, and then command J. I I join them together. And perhaps I'm gonna put it on the floor somehow. Okay, set save this very quickly. So fungi mesh. So if we, if we are thinking about fungi, it should be more organic. It's not like this type of objects. So I'm gonna switch to sculpt mode very quickly in Blender. Sculpt mode and then switch, turn on dynamic topology it's gonna warn you vertex data detected blah 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 don't worry just hit okay and start painting so if you paint with the dynamic topology on dyn topo so anything that you touch is kind of gonna become organic just like if it, if it's if it's a fungi kind of growing things start to mold and become less than perfect and this is basically what's happening if you actually zoom out and then if you go crazy zoom out like that and you paint it will disappear so be careful with that because um, the distance of your camera going to affect the result so this is kind of making things looking more organic so this is pretty okay, but still probably not as organic as you want it to be. So you need to do something a little bit more. And I want to introduce you to a tool. It's basically the ball pen tool from Kusiro. Okay, the ball pen is an add-on. I think it's, the add-on is really cheap, but really powerful. So if we use this add-on in edit mode, and if I hold the control and click, I will start to draw these balls. And this is like the the Maxteria blob in the game Fantasia. So I, I, I quite like this tool. I actually I, I like this a lot. It's nothing it's a little bit like uh, if you are painting using 
grease pencil and you are snapping it on the surface it's gonna be drawing this blob so you can do that as well you can paint using grease pencil and start drawing yeah simply blob and you can control the size and this blob is becoming like a like a mushroom so starting things starting to get a little bit more interesting I think I can draw this smaller yeah like you can keep drawing on top of it because it's gonna grow like a spore so this is uh, this is our creation so far press Q to confirm to quit and then okay now we have something like this the color is not as interesting yet we can make this more interesting oops I switched to renderman by mistake let's reload we're gonna be using cycles and if I want to make this a little bit more organic I can use the shader Zen Zen shader actually provide stylized shader for blender this is actually you can pay as much as you like but you can actually put zero here to download the shader and the shader work with blender 2.92 all right if you use 2.93 it's gonna crash but uh, I'm gonna show you the shader I, I really love this shader it's really give that organic kind of look so if you install the add-on you have this stylized shader just create the shader and then use the BSDF so instead of using principle you use the stylized shader, stylized shader and render this out starting to look organic just like the foundation video game this is probably that's a good base model you can try using geometry and color ramp and I think we can use random island randomize this a little bit more use different color and HSV. Yeah, if you want it to be really colorful like that, you can do that. This is shadow, the shadow part, so make this a little bit darker. Well, you can start experimenting with the other color. I really like this is the this is the shader that's doing the job on this. play around with the shader if you think this is uh, not organic enough you can continue sculpting this a little bit more turn on dynamic topology make this smaller even start painting with clay maybe right so you can really turn this into something that's completely strange and organic maybe the sphere can be subdivided or remesh even If you want uh, to add some more details you can also use the IV generator so IV generator is something that comes with blender you can read the documentations basically if you turn that on we have a new panel IV generator and the IV generator the way it works you select an object you go to edit mode and then you place this this 3d cursor you place it somewhere else uh, I mean you place it somewhere <clears throat> and then you go to object mode and then add a new IV it's gonna grow 
the ivy probably we don't need the leaves so something's been generated but maybe we need to scale this first scale is smaller let me try again place a 3d cursor and then with the IV generator turn on add a new IV you can randomize the seed and then add, add the new IV so let's try actually oh yeah you don't actually need to go to edit mode just place place the 3d cursor and add a new IV this will add something that's kind of like uh, the mushroom what's the name of this fungi mycelial threads fungi okay yeah this one works really well place something at the bottom wait a few seconds so you can really keep adding this kind of detail where you want it to be now we have all this IV we can join them into one object or we can just keep them separately give it a material command L link the material so I'm using a single material but I want to I want it to have different random color so we do the same random object and again I'm gonna be using HSV check out the color maybe this fungi yeah now we have the fungi with different color so yeah this is kind of the look that I want to show you how to create kind of organic maybe maybe we can we have like leaves or something that's a little bit more organic I think I can also use like geometry nodes and kind of scatter around the areas um, or we can further use the sphere brush let's use the world sky texture and maybe prism and pick a sky color the string can be smaller so this this can actually glow as well or maybe not we can contrast the the ivy and this surface that we are shedding all right so yeah I think that's pretty much what I wanted to show you if we <clears throat> remember you can always use geometry nodes one maybe we should do that as well just distribute some object So we want to bring in the alt geometry and we can distribute random objects and for the random objects you can have uh, you can have not metaballs but something let's use icosphere for now or use a donut and just scatter some object point instance point uh, scale
scatter more objects and use pass on this Yeah, it's a uh, maybe a little bit too um, we need to add variations basically randomize the scale okay now it's a little bit better we need to fatten the donuts maybe also or just randomize this using uh, weight okay weight weight paint and start painting the areas that you want to have more spore or less spore that's kind of this is a uh, random you can paint it on some areas if you're happy with the painted area just to distribute it using the density There. So the areas that we painted will have more donuts. If I'm not wrong, you can also remesh it somehow over here. But you need you need the latest blender. So this is 2.92. You need to go a different blender. So this is uh, the whole process. Yeah, so this is kind of like a, the basic idea of this space inspired by fantastic fungi. They create something that's organic and kind of abstract looking, but yeah, it's a uh, free for interpretations. I guess this is a uh, something you can try because it, this should be like a uh, fun and organic and shouldn't be stressful. Um, yeah, I quite like the result. It can be improved, but I can do this like every day, anytime. And I think this is kind of fun to do. All right. So thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.